When children are multilingual, it's, it's a wonderful celebration of what goes on in the brain because to be able to speak more than one language is a wonderful skill. It's also deeply, deeply embedded in the heart of who people are. So whilst English is the language of most education in this country, the diversity of what comprises the entire community uh, is multilingual and there are lots and lots of languages, including Aboriginal languages, that are thriving and bubbling away across the country. So if children learn that their language is valuable, if children learn to understand themselves in their own languages, as well as in English, then they have this strong sense of their bilingual identities and their multicultural identities. And I just want to give you a little example. In um, Italian, you might say, il mio tesoro, to your child, which is a, an endearing way of saying, my darling, my, my love. If you translate the word from Italian, it actually means my treasure. But it doesn't actually mean my treasure when you say it in Italian. It has all of these other cultural um, nuances attached to it. So it's really important that that special connection in how those words are used, because it's about a relationship, are maintained in the same way that we might call a child in English my darling or babe or whatever it is that we refer to them. So the ways in which language is used in everyday practice is part of who we are. So we don't want to remove part of who, any parts of who children are um, because once again if we're thinking through them having very strong identities we need to keep all of those gorgeous parts of who they are in all the languages, in all the cultures in order that, that they can be successful learners.